Welcome back ARC players to a brand new video now today we have the community crunch we have all been waiting for and as you'll be able to see community crunch 432 fear ascended extra life and unreal engine 5.4 news and more so we're going to be going through all of this in today's video so if you do enjoy it make sure to smash that like button Subscribe if you're new around here and thank you for all of the support. So let's just dive straight in to the community crunch. So as you can see, this looks like it's our new, um, like, the, you know, the little hidden thing we've been waiting for in Ark. Looks like we've got our new um, cool addition to Ark, the werewolf. And wait, was I actually right? I talked about in the video, is it going to be the werewolf power? That would be crazy. I think that is, isn't it? That would be crazy if I've guessed that. Um, so we're diving into the spooky details of Fear Ascended and providing a live operations update on aberration transfers and sharing an update on Unreal Engine 5.4. Plus, we have an exciting, exciting announcement about a special guest joining us for this year's Extra Life event. So Fear Ascended, the shadows draw closer. Fear Ascended is creeping into Club Ark and all the eerie goodies, skins, animotes and chibis and tameable creatures will haunt Club Ark as rewards. If you're brave enough to earn a tameable creature through Club Ark events, it will come sealed in a cryopod ready to be unleashed on your Ark server. Wild event dino colors will bleed through to your official servers, adding a ghostly touch to the wilderness. And for our unofficial server friends, you can summon fear ascended creatures through commands or spawners if you dare. Um, so obviously the event rates you guys know is the 30th of October until the 13th of November. Event creatures is the zombie wyvern, the zombie fire, uh, the zombie fire, the zombie lightning, the zombie poison, and the zombie dodo is back. Wait, where's the dodo rex? No, is there no dodo? They've given, they've got rid of the dodo. Wait, no, that must be at the bottom. Wait, is the dodo, there's a werewolf in this picture, but there's no dodo rex. So the skeleton costumes are coming back. The dino witch hat. The ghost creatures are coming back as normal. Scary dino pumpkin helmet skin. New wait weapon cleaver sword and crowbar pick and armor. The werewolf costume, arrowhead hat, axe head hat, sword head hat, and then the return of all the old school stuff. The oh this is massive, isn't it? The dodo rex mask skin here. So I'm hoping it's going to be down below. Basilisk ghost costume, bulb uh, dog ghost, uh, ghost costume, all of the stuff from the past ones, you know, you've got the scary pumpkin, everything we've had before, vampire dodo, vampire eye skin. Oh, here we go. Event items, horror species X. Is this what it is? Festive dino candy corn, pumpkin scarecrow, stolen headstone, chibis. So we've got chibi skeleton, bronto, carno, giga, jaboa, quetzal, raptor, rex, stego, trike, wyvern, basilisk, direwolf, mantis. Oh, wait, no, there's ghost basilisk, ghost direwolf, ghost mantis, ghost rex, spooky bulb dog. Um, new, we've got the howl um, event emote, uh, the sniff, the evil, and the panic scare emotes. Um, and we have the dino, wild dino colors are the same, dark lavender, medium lavender, wyvern purple, um, zero, D Dragonfire, Orange, Peach, Green, Medium, Turquoise, Dark Till, Dark Blue, and Dino Dark Blue, Blue, Actual Black, Black Sands, um, Dark Grey, and Medium Autumn, Yellow, and Deep Pink. Right, so there's no Dodo Rex. And what is this? There's a werewolf. Is it, wait, did I miss this? Am I being so, so, like, have I not read this properly? Like, so the... Horror Species X. I think it's what I said, guys. I think you're going to be able to get some sort of werewolf. Unless it's a skin. It might just be a skin. Unless they've missed it off. I'm not too sure. But it's not here on the skins, is it? I, I don't know. That's interesting. But Extra Life 2024. A very special guest to join our lineup. Content creator Ross Clark will be going live with us from our Seattle office Saturday, November 2nd at 10 a.m. Pacific for this year's 24-hour Extra Life stream. Join us for an unforgettable stream as Rascal helps us make a difference for a great cause. If you're interested in donating, click the button below. Wow. Do you know what, Rascal? Fair play. Fair play. That is absolutely unbelievable. I feel, do you know what? That's, that's so cool. That's so cool. And like, what an opportunity Studio Wildcard have given you. And do you know what? I think your content over the last sort of, I mean, over the last sort of like four years, five years, it's just been 
like top top notch like and i and and do you know what i just just well done that's literally all i have to say that's such an amazing achievement you must have been holding that on for so long and um you deserve it you you really do deserve it so much love to you ross and uh and i hope it goes well i'm looking forward to uh i'm looking forward to co-hosting it um if do you know what it feels actually just like crazy to think that a content creator can start something like this and they get involved now obviously dolly wasn't involved savala was hosting and then obviously you know it's so nice that they got ross clark on board because obviously cedric won't be so wait so Ross Clark's actually coming to the Seattle office. That's insane. That's so cool. I didn't even realize that. I, for some reason, I thought for a second it would be online. But so he's actually heading out to the Seattle office. That's what, what an experience. Well done to you. Um, we will announce all the final details in a future crunch. But here's a sneak peek of what you can expect. So reveals of upcoming game content, which for me is going to be the upcoming DLC. Uh, but obviously, such as Ark Extinction, Bob's All Tales Part 3, and a preview of Ark Ultimate Mobile Edition from Grove Street Games, and first looks at the Ark Animated Series Part 2. Stop by on November 2nd to hang out, um, and yeah, come and join. I'll be doing my own co-hosting stream. If you want to come and join it, we're going to raise some money. That'd be absolutely amazing. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. So that is fantastic. And they've brought back the Extra Life 2024 Milestone Rates, and... I said it. I said it, guys. I've been in this. I've been in this community for long enough now. You know to know it. There is a bit of a cap, so it's not like we we knew it before, which is a little bit annoying. They did say they were upgrading to a new server, so the maximum, by the looks of things, is going to be times six if we make one hundred and sixty-five thousand. But obviously, if we make more, that that. So are they going to keep their promise right? Because if it's actually so hype, the stream, and we manage to raise three hundred thousand. There's no way the servers are going times 100 on everything. Like, no chance. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, so we can get up to times 6. It used to be times 12, but I guess it just, it's just more eff like effort on the servers. Um, aberration server transfers. Um, so transfers on Aberration official servers will open at 10 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. EST on November 8th, allowing players to move items, creatures, and characters onto the map without restriction. Pack your cogs and get your cosmos ready to explore. Unreal Engine, here we go. I said this, and I've said it in many, many videos, um, but mainly recently, and many of you guys said the same in the comment section, you agreed with me, Unreal Engine 4.5 is being pushed back a little bit, but it's still well underway. Before we determine a new launch time frame, let's give you a little background on the process of, in form of an, an, an analogy. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> uh, let's say you have a factory that bakes cakes with many specialized techniques that you designed. Now this cake factory is a little dated. Fortunately for you, cake making techniques continue to improve and new methodologies are available to enhance your cake. Seems pretty straightforward, right? But not exactly. You're working with a live cake factory. You need to continue making cakes to feed your customers. So you cannot distract that process to, uh, to integrate these performances. However, you can dedicate a small team to make new cake factory based on uh, make a new cake factory based on the original and incorporate the upgrades. After some time, the new cake factory has finished with the upgrades. Still, you notice that your specialized techniques that made your cake taste a certain way no longer work. So now you've got to spend time fixing all of that while you're still operating the old cake factory. This is the stage we're at. We've branched the code base, completed the upgrade, and now we're going through the time consuming process of ensuring that everything works as expected. And this doesn't just include the old things that are essential to developing Arc and we're custom built, uh, but also making sure that the new improvements are functioning as expected within our custom code base. This impacts how you experience the game, i.e. when we cook out the files, is the gameplay as we expect? And are, are we noticing the performance improvements? Has anything broken? Blah, 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 blah. And also how we experience the editor. Um, are tools functioning the way they expect them to? And can level designers still create volumes um, and are blueprints cooking? So yeah, while we want to move into the new cake factory, we're still testing all the components of our cake can be made within the new factory tools and that the cake is still a cake, but better. It's pretty lengthy and carries out some risks. We could get through quicker if we put more people onto it, but that adds more risk to the cake. We're giving, uh, we're giving people now ASA, and we've got a lot of orders lined up for the rest of the year. So what's our new timeline? 
We believe the safest approach to, would be to release the Unreal Engine 5.4 or maybe higher at the point in Q1 next year. This allows our team to focus on the significant content milestones for this year, Extinction, Events and Wasteland War, and then gently move on to wrapping up the upgrade after the break. We're really excited about the upgrade, not only because of the performance uh, improvements, but also because it gives us access to better and sharper tools to continue improving quality of the game. It's still coming, so hang in there. Cake is on the way, coming to a bakery near you, Q1 2025. Um, I said it in the videos um, plenty of times. Um, yeah, so I, I did say I think it was going to be coming at the start of 2025. Uh, it's a shame because I feel like this isn't going to be taken in the, in, in the best of ways because people want to see game improvements, but what can we do? Um, it is what it is. And yeah, so that's it. That's all I can say on it, to be honest, guys. Um, so inactive server sunsetting. We work, um, oh yeah, so they're working with Nitrado. So when the ser the server shut down, um, and um, they're working with Nitrado to get you your saves. One year anniversary of ASA. Wow, yeah, it has been, hasn't it? Happy one year anniversary to Arc Survive Ascended from Dynamite Adventures to reach new heights as Ascended Survivors. It's been an epic journey, and we're grateful to you have you along for the ride as we celebrate this milestone. We're looking forward to. Uh, excited to look forward to a bigger year ahead one with filled with um surprises new discoveries here's to another year of an adventure together from all of our studio wildcard and survivors thank you so yeah pretty pretty awesome um and yeah just it's gonna be a really exciting time coming up so um i'm a bit disappointed about unreal engine 5.4 um and i think it's gonna really cause a bit of frustration but i guess this is you know i can't you know people always say to me like dom one minute it's like dom you're against wildcard one minute you're with wildcard and it, recently it's been dom sponsored by wildcard i'm not sponsored by wildcard guys and i love wildcard um but this is quite frustrating and i do believe that you know, I'm not in game development, so I can't say. I do believe it would be better for Unreal Engine, but I do understand in a business sense things, you need to make your money. So, and I'm looking forward to Extinction, right? And recently ASA has been fine for me, but that's only because I play on unofficial. So for official players, I understand the pain. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Love you guys lots. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.